It's time again, Adventurous Ones, for another unboxing and review because we have the majority have spoken of the Motu community and they've all said unbox this guy. Free the plastic! Because now it's the Masters of the Universe Classics Blast Attack. Welcome to the toy review. It's time to get started. Welcome back for another unboxing and review, adventurous ones. I am the host, as always, master of all multiverses. The reason why the MCU, the DCEU, and probably one or two of the you know other universes that I've been that I'm a part of apparently got fucked up, you know. <laughs> Joseph Michaels, the adventurous Joe, at your service, and today we are unboxing this guy finally. Because I didn't know what to do exactly. All, I used to uh, have all my Masters of the Universe figures and stuff like that. And I completely forgot I had this guy still. Okay? I thought I unboxed everything. This is one of the classics ones that I had left. and Because I didn't pick up too many figures and stuff like that. You know, for the classics. Because, let's face it, these days you, they're very expensive. Okay? This guy I originally paid around $40 for, okay, on eBay. The thing is, I wasn't, I was trying to go by the whole being an um, uh, inbox collector kind of deal all the time and stuff. Well, since I decided not to do that anymore and everything, it was just opening up all the other figures and stuff, I reached out to my friends last night through the Motu community, and they all said, there's no, there's no real resale value in him if I wanted to re just resell him or whatever. Um, and they were right, because I looked it up on eBay. You could, you could practically buy him for cheap now. Seriously, you could practically buy this guy for cheap. So it's like... Ugh. So I, mm -mm. they all said, free the plastic. Unbox him. All right. Well, we're, that's what we're going to do. He came with his... Uh, mm mailer shipper box if you will whatever the heck you want to call it that a lot of the motu classics all came in and let's hold on to that oh man is he packed in there tight mm. Pops myself in the face with it. <laughs> Ow! Mother of Pearl! Okay. Yeah. Got him! And... We're not gonna need you anymore. Swing! There he is. Blast attack! Part of the Snake Men. Now, uh, unlike um, Masterverse figures and stuff like that, we have not had any Snake Men yet. Okay? Everything's been focused on this new attorney and stuff with uh, Hordak and all that other stuff. Now, in the Classics line, there was King Hiss, Tongue Lasher, Cobra Khan, Ratlore, and uh, snake face and that's what I said and even on the back of his package here it's got the writing and stuff that tells you his real name real name is program robot serial number 1710 1710 nice <laughs> blast attack was originally brought to Eternia in a spell of light by mm, Skeletor to boost his ranks mm, before the second ultimate battleground. Mm. But the android was quickly stolen by the Snakemen and reprogrammed to act as mm, a mercenary in the army of the of King Hiss. Literally mm, 
a walking, talking time bomb. Blast Attack's body is compromised, mm, comprised of a series of microscopic mm, nanites which can mm, reform after mm, detonation, allowing him to blast apart over and over mm, in an explosive attack mm, against enemies. Although created with mm, some semblance of mm, artificial intelligence, his mm, evil programming often mm, overrides his own commitment to self-preservation. Blast Attack is a robotic muscle man with an extremely short fuse. He loves to surprise enemies with his sudden blast apart power. Unreal. In other words, I wouldn't want to be around that guy when he wants to when he suddenly has a temper tantrum. And he says, I'm gonna blow apart, man. I'm gonna blow apart. Okay, I need, my, uh, I need my knife. I need my knife. He needs his knife. Okay. Because we don't want to really ruin the packaging and stuff. We just want to get him out of the package. Because the card, you don't want to wreck the card. Really wreck the card anyway. packaging too much and stuff, but it cannot be helped! It's tearing down the wrong side of the thing. Oh, crap. I have it. We did our best. It didn't want to work. Sure, there you go. Now we got it on the back side, too. There we go. Done. Got the card. Got the card. Now we gotta, oh great. Now we gotta cut some string. Crap. I hate cutting string. Ugh. Okay, and then you got this little thing here that's got his name on it and stuff, so if you wanna display him that way. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> okay, got that one. Got that one. See if I can get him out uh, without any issues here. Okay, got his weapon. One of them, anyway. There's the figure. Here's this. Uh Okay, 
There we got it. Huh. Okay. Come on to that. Grab all that. He's got string all over him here. Uh, okay. All right. There he is. Blast attack. Now, I'm trying to remember exactly how he uh, was supposed to blow himself apart. Now, unlike the the He-Man figures of now, uh, the Masterverse and stuff like that, this one does not have the double knee joint point to it. It's got only the one knee socket area that allows him to kick back like that. Feet articulation is also the same. It's pretty much back about that far and up about that far. Arm articulation push up about that far down to the side again you can go the 360 head articulation is the same you can go the whole 360 no movement in the neck joint area so you can't exactly get him to look up any further than that but he can look down about like that now apparently he's supposed to be able to and pull apart or blow apart. I think it's uh, let's see. Arm art. Oh, oh yeah. Elbow articulation is also limited to there, which is probably why uh, Mattel Creations or Mattel itself decided to go back and revamp these for the Masterverse line and stuff. Don't you fall. Okay. He does have mm, good waist articulation. And legs can go. Hang on a second. Let's move his arms out of the way. Legs can go about that far apart. There you go. Okay. Now, we gotta figure out how he's supposed to blast himself apart. I think it's got something to do with this. If I remember correctly. That you're supposed to, I think, insert something, insert it or something like that. I can't remember. I had this figure when, from the original vintage line and stuff. Huh, maybe I should have had. Even show you. Yeah, it don't show. It don't tell you. It don't show you. Any instructions? No. No instructions either. Okay. Well, not too bad an older character I mean, he's supposed to if he's supposed to blast apart I'm trying to figure out how he's supposed to do it unless they made it where this one can't blast apart huh weird yeah see there's no way to do it because this is supposed to pull apart on the original figure and stuff, the vintage figure and stuff. So I guess for the M M the Maddie Collector version and stuff, the classics line, he's not supposed to pull apart. Now we do got some. Okay, that's his whip. Okay, that's his whip. That's what I thought. Of. Now, I'm not exactly sure how much these originally costed, because uh, back in the day, I didn't I didn't buy the a lot of these. And I can't even get the whip in his hand.
There we go. Got that in his hand finally. It's got a real rubberiness to it. Like it reflects to there, but then goes back to there too. So it's got a bit of a rubberiness to it. got his other hand here, his other hand, which I'm guessing is supposed to hold on to this sucker. Or it's supposed to yeah, like go in his hand somehow. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. Well, there he is. Last attack. Now, like I said, the original vintage figure um, was able to pull apart and shit because uh, he had it where I think you plugged his axe in or something like that and he was able to pull apart. Like he just blew up, you know? Well, I guess they decided to do that, do without that feature because, you know, collectability figure and stuff. Now, let's see how he stacks up with Shira here. Master vs. Shira. Just about the same height wise. Alright. How about He Man? Now, a lot of people said that when it comes to the classics and stuff, classics compared to Master vs. and stuff, they're a bit on the short side. Yeah, and you can see it right there. See, here's his head width to him. To him. So, yeah, the classics are a little bit on the short side, but not too bad. And, of course, with the Horde Trooper. Wow. He's super short. <laughs> He's super short. Well, anyways, I... Like I said, I don't remember the pricing for these figures, the classics figures and stuff, because uh, I wasn't really getting a lot of them and stuff when they first came out and everything. But nowadays, they they sell anywhere for somewhat cheap, like he is, to skyrocketed prices of over four hundred dollars. So. It's all dependent on, I guess, where what you what one you're after and stuff. Because they they made a lot of those figures and stuff to you know before long before we ever got the Masterverse figures, there was the Classics version and stuff. Anyways, that's it for this one, adventurous ones. Let me know your thoughts down in the comment section down below. If you originally had figures like these and stuff. What were the price you paid for them and stuff when they first came out and everything? You know, before they hit eBay and went skyrocket pricing and all that stuff. Let's hear your thoughts down in the comment section down below. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, leave your comments, and hit that bell so you don't miss out on anything we got going on in 2024. We got a November giveaway going on right now and stuff. That video's up right now. Head over there, get in on it, follow the three rules of the giveaway. And hit put the hashtag in the comment section of that video. The Force. Hashtag The Force. All one word. You don't need to worry about any spacing and stuff. Just hashtag The Force. And you will be entered into the giveaway. So, make sure you hit that bell and set it to all notifications. So you'll never miss out on anything we got coming up. Because in December, ooh buddy. We got big plans in December, so you might want to stick around for those. Anyways, until the next unboxing, till the next review, peace out. May the force be with all of you. Nevertheless, we all have a safe, lovely, and beautiful week out there. Take care of yourselves, your family, your friends, your pets, loved ones in general. And be smart. Don't do stupid stuff out there. It's going to get you taken out of this world too soon. Enjoy your life, but be smart about it. And get home safely to those that love and care for you. So until the next one, adventurous ones, take care. God bless to all of you. We have the power, baby. And I'll see you all later.